the afternoon will change the whole field, I guess, because they will be biting better, I guess, in the afternoon, the perch. I think so too. This can change everything completely. It doesn't mean anything, but so far we are happy. One or two big fish can change uh, the whole leaderboard. We have to improvise a little bit because of the, the conditions, the wind. There's so much wind that it's actually impossible to, to fish on a, in a good way in this, in this area where we would like to stay, but there's too much wind. We lost really two really good fish that can change this whole scoreboard and have plenty of ideas. Yeah, we need to upgrade at least two fish. Yeah, fill, or fill in one and upgrade one. Yeah. It's doable. We need the four fish, but we need four big ones. We need to make a fantastic afternoon, otherwise you, we will be the last. Welcome back to the EFL. Last episode, we witnessed a tight call between Akuma and Abu Garcia. They now have the same points, but Akuma have the biggest fish and therefore they are in the lead. Fox Rage, on the other hand, had an awful morning and they desperately need to make some changes. There's a lot of time left. And as we know, there are some big perch to catch in this fantastic venue. We have uh, five hours to go, five and a half hours five even. And a half, five and a half hours to go. For an upgrade. For to upgrade uh, at least two or three fish. We need to get rid of this 41 centimeter yes. because that's nice perch, but we, we need bigger. And I think we need bigger. 44 also needs to be yes. upgraded. Yes, 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 yes. And we have some secrets here with us. And um, probably we will do a lot more cranking because the cranks brought uh, a lot of fish. Yes. More than the shed, even the shed brought the bigger one. Nevertheless, you lost a very good one just before lunch. So uh, I think um, it's useful to have a couple of more cars with, with cranks yes. and, uh, and find out if some bigger ones are around. But I think we are doing good. Uh, you fish with the shetties and with the rubber and I fish with the crank. We have two different depths. So uh, That's true. if they are a little bit shallow, I, uh, I will catch it maybe with the crank. If they are a little bit deeper, you will catch it on the drop-off. So that's. If you uh, consider it, yeah. you also lost a big one. Yes, of course. You also, also yeah. lost a big one, and Same that one was some oh, deeper. That was also that was deeper, deeper, yes, correct. So, they are not all, the fish is not all on two meters. There yeah. are fish on three and a half, four meters, yeah. even, even five meters. Correct. Even so, it's uh, That's quite what difficult. it was, five meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The strike. yeah, yeah. And also here, yeah. I had another strike, which was also a good fish. It was also from the drop-off. Yeah. So, you one came just from the mussels, you yes, know, in the exactly, shallow parts, exactly. and my one from the drop-off. Nevertheless, we will take out what we think we have to take, and uh, then we will have a look, and uh, you guys stay tuned for the new episode. We are on the spot where we started today, where I got the first fish of the day, the 47 centimeter perch. Uh, we positioned the boat a little, a little bit uh, further and we cast with the wind, so we tried to do some finesse fishing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard with the wind in the afternoon, but I think we're, we are on a good spot. We caught a perch right over there this morning, so let's see if they are still home. Ah, the feeling is super. <laughs> We're in the lead. I think it's the first time for me uh, fishing EFL to be in the lead. So I'm really happy for that. And uh, yeah, like we said, it's going to be difficult with the wind. You see it? The, wind, the, the waves are pretty, pretty big. I think it's a four to five ball four. So the finesse fishing, the, the method that worked really well this morning, it's hard to do, but we try it here for a while and otherwise we go uh, go over to a bit more power uh, power fishing, we call it. It's with, with crankbaits, with uh, twitch baits, some uh, some spinner baits perhaps. It's another kind of fishing. We didn't uh, practice that, so if that, if, <laughs> I don't know if that works, but in the summertime it works. But first we'll uh, do some finesse as far as the, the weather uh, makes it possible. What's up? Cold? Yeah, a little bit, but it doesn't matter. But the fucking wind, it's its really crippling, you know? Yeah, fish! No! Oh, fuck, lost it! Big one? Oh, I had it. Uh, I don't know. I just felt the take. Oh. We're about to leave. I used to retrieving in the, the lure. And uh, yeah, I lost the fish. It's life. <laughs> Should we wait? I had a strike, you know, but I don't know. 
We made a game plan to fish for the full day in there. And now... Fucked up by the wind, again. To jest bardzo podobny spot. Te ryby tak występują w tym momencie gdzieś około 2-2,5 metra wody. Jest to jak gdyby ściana wyspy, gdzie jest dużo podwodnych muszli i są pojedyncze poustawiane o konie. Oczywiście, oczywiście muszą być chętne do brań. Na razie tylko jeden delikatnie wziął. Właśnie on właściwie podszedł pod samą górę łodzi i uderzył i spadł. Szedł za bladed jigiem, czyli zainteresowała go ta blaszka. Szedł, szedł, szedł. Już widział, że się ta przynęta wynurza do lustra wody i uderzył. I, ale uderzył na tak, tak słabo, tylko spróbował to tak naprawdę. Ja zacięłem tą rybę, ona czepła i od razu się spadła. Był ogromny, był około 50 cm. Ale takie tu są o konie w Holandii, po to, żeśmy tu przyjechali. Welcome to episode 4 EFL. First spot after lunch. We're gonna have a quick, it's a super small compact spot. A quick, uh, yeah, a quick uh, spot lock here. Only 10 minutes, if nothing happens, we're off to another area. But uh, this is also pretty much in the waves. We have quite some waves now. Uh, so we're gonna quickly Check this spot out and see what happens. Yeah, you can go to the front. Yes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, here the water, the water is so muddy, I should fish like normally something else, but go for the little goby again. Let's try it. Hey guys, if you have a lot of wind like this, uh, it's really nice to place the boat like a little bit further away from the fish because the engine now we have to use it, it's making lots of noise. So we do really far cast with the wind. If you have to cast a little bit with the angulation to the wind, I recommend to, um, to reel in the loose line after the cast and kind of with the rod lay it down to the water, the fishing line. Then you have a, a better control and a better contact to the, to the lure. So try to get the line out of the wind. Less bend than the line is better control. Yeah, totally agree. Fish, fish. Big? I don't know. I don't think so. Ah, wait, maybe. I'll be ready. Doesn't feel so big. Uh, doesn't matter. Fish is a fish. It's a perch. Ah, finally! Good man. You never know. Can always be a 50, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stays deep, so. Yeah, yeah that's, that's an upgrade. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. We have to check because it is a freaking balloon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an upgrade. You think? Yes. Yeah, I'm a... sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> Good job. Can you give me the map? I'm very curious to see because that brings us in the lead. Ah, oh, I love it when a plan works. Yeah. And you. Okay, you take the head. Yes, 49. <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Good job, man. Good yes! job. <laughs> on the oh! on the goby again. Woohoo! Oh, this goby is freaking killing storm. it. We were thinking like, should we go in the big waves? And yeah. yes, we should. Hunting close to the shore. In what the waves. A beauty. And I love that you have this little long fin at the back <laughs> because yeah. I thought I thought it's a 47 or something. This but fin is super long. Yeah, it's but that long fin in the back made it good a point. <laughs> Thank you, guy. Good point. <laughs> so now we have three times 49. Super cool. Oh, super cool. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes. Good job. <laughs> that one will stay on the board, I think. Yeah. Look at this beautiful yeah. perch. Now we need a 50. Come on. <laughs> we need to get rid of the freaking 48. Like catch a 48 on the one day, it's super day, yeah? yeah. <laughs> now we want to get rid of it. Insane. What a great start from Abu Garcia. They are now in the lead already. Like how long did we fish? Not long. So that is three points extra. Now we are at 195. Wow. 195. 
Let's see if we can get the, the 200. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Good job. Thanks, man. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you, fishing god. Thank you. Where are you? There. The thing is with the wind, like as soon if you cast straight with the wind, you have really good feel. But as soon as you cast a little bit too too much to the left or right, the wind picks up your line and you have less feeling. So difficult conditions, but we try to make the best out of it. I'm also a little bit concerned about the batteries of the, for the for the electro engine. It might deliver a problem this afternoon because the wind is so uh, so hard that I have to work so much. So hopefully it stays good till six o'clock tonight. We see a lot of big fish on the on the just uh, to the weed line. Which color are you going with? The yellow chic. Yeah. Okay, then I go for uh, the black silver. Saw some nice uh, shadows on the shallows. It's like here. Fish, fish. First cast, boat. Perch. We saw some nice, and uh, we fish now with the bolt. Big one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a really nice one. Yo, 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 yo. Punter, Faust, fuck yeah! <laughs> the first cast! Here. The first cast! Here. The first cast! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> it destroyed it! Can't you believe it? I can't! Oh, what a tank! What a tank, man! Oh, no, it's not even 50. It's just a big tone. It's like. 40. 48? 40. 49? Yeah, it's 49 there. Look at the head of this fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. It feels awesome. I was all for going the deep, you know, the cold, everything. And Evert cruised the shallows, had a hunch. Oh, wait a minute. Back it up. Deploy. That was your fish. You deserve that fish. Oh, Sometimes fishing is teamwork. <laughs> EFL is all about teamwork. Fighter plane. F-16. Flying low. It's another big one. Maybe it's the color. Hey, you have the crop. Yeah. It could be nice. Hard st uh, strike. I just sucked it in. You can only almost feel like it was sucking it. It's like. Oh, you, you, you big one. It's a pike. Oh, it's a bike. <laughs> My heart, it's in a box somewhere. <laughs> to make sure that we don't leave lures hanging around and the faces of pikes everywhere we go, we use the CVC titanium single strand leader. This one is a, a, a feisty one, it seems like. It's a single strand titanium leader, 
with a fast head snap and a swivel. And if you guys like to keep it stealthy, you can do as I do with the uh, floor carbon extension. So you have a floor carbon leader leading down to the titanium. Nice and clean, nobody hurt, everybody happy. And I can uh, keep my fish catching bold. So uh, check, it, check them out, super nice. Uh, we see, see, we see uh, catching some fish, two in a row. So again, we are beside the fish. We do it wrong, for sure. There is, there is something to do that, that's 100% sure. We need to think about it, stop moving, because we are drifting. You, would you like to stop, Thomas? We stop and we, we start thinking a bit uh, about what to do, because we are just uh, not doing the right. The right things. Abu and CVC have made a great start, both with a 49 centimeter perch each. So now Westin have dropped down one position. Fox Rage is still struggling. No fish on the paper so far, and you can really feel their frustration. I really don't know what to do now. It's horrible. This is horrible. I think it's not good too much wind, especially because you fish less and I mean less efficient and um, I like the wind in the summer when it, it brings some uh, oxygen, some uh, when it, it makes the water a little bit more murky and, and so on but the, the cold wind of the winter I'm not a big fan of it. Not, not only for me but also for fishing. In pre-fishing, I was amazed by how, how well it worked. Um, but yeah, conditions change and maybe today they want a bit more finesse tactics, but... Fish! Yeah. Oh, we lost it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh no. Shit. Come on, Percy's. Perch fish fishing is difficult in these conditions, eh? You need to have good contact with the with the bottom with your bait and the waves come in your line so you think difficult to feel right now yep very tough at the moment for us very tough very tough at the moment for us not so easy i mean the the wind is catching up and uh, doesn't make it easy for all of us, but uh, you know, we want to have some upgrades, but up to now, we had not a single strike in this episode. So um, yeah, we do our best. Nothing more we can do, casting, casting, casting. I'm gonna put something special on. A very brand new one. I'm sure they didn't see something like this. The real, real birds. This is a new one. Only two exist at the moment. This looks very nice in the clear water. Real birds. This real birds will give me a real birds. I'm gonna put 15 gram on it because uh, it's a lot of wind, so it's very hard to reach the bottom. Look at that color. Man, oh man. If they see this, Dietmar, then uh, they have to have it. They have to take it. I believe in your words, mate. I have to, I have to try. It's the very first time I try it. It's just brand new. Do you see fish with your side scan? No, it's difficult now with this wind and uh, then I have to, f to drive the boat, but I don't see okay. a lot. Okay. But we just do uh, this drift Dietmar for, let's say, 100 meters. Okay. And uh, quite quickly. Fish! Fish! Oh. Oh. 
good fish. Very good perch. Oh. Was it perch? Eh? Yeah. Pok, 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 pok. Very good one. Yeah, there is some perch there. Sorry? I see some fish. There is more fish uh, on the screen. Pretty rough now. As you can see, quite some wind, higher waves. We're gonna make a long drive for uh, yeah, the other side of the lake. Uh, we hope to find a little bit more shelter so we can fish it a little bit more precise. Um, so, uh, Mr. Camera Guy, prepare the camera for some waves and water. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Oh, this is perch. Again? Yeah, I can feel the shakes now. Hey, I'm a, am I the netting boy? Net boy! Get the net boy! Is it an upgrade? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Another upgrade. Another upgrade. upgrade. Another, Another upgrade. upgrade. Another upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. It's fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm only here to steer the boat and net the fish. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, no yeah. solder spots and all that extra. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> it's not as big as the, the last one, but it's... Uh, Today it's Adam Orr's day. When fishing jerk bait, you get three trebles. It, support, it supports the suspension and everything. Uh, the thing is, owner has a super nice clean treble called the STY35. It's a silk grey Magic Fusso treble. You have it like this. You see, a normal treble doesn't have a flat angle. So the flat angle helps the lure keep the balance better, it hooks more fish and it's a streamlined profile. So these trebles when you're about to change your treble hooks, because you're gonna use, you're gonna be uh, going through a couple of these. When you're changing, get Magic Fuso, the owner STY 35s. It's quite big actually. Another perch for Adam Ore. If he continues to fish like this, CBC will be dangerous. I think it's the color. I will go for the shiny one as well. Yeah, do it. Adam is an absolute perch expert. He's known across Europe for his perch exploits and he catches an awful lot of them as well. He's a very wholesome, rounded angler, loves to fish jerk baits, and he's got a very, very good local knowledge here as well. He's fished here quite a lot in competition. He fishes very regularly with Everett as well, so as a team they fish very closely, they know how each other works, and that's one of the things that we see develop through this event in itself. Team cohesion is really, really important, particularly when you've got guys using opposite styles, which once again is a great team tactic. For Adam, his super skill is finesse fishing. He's precise with absolutely everything he does, and where these tiny little things make a difference, he picks them up, acts on them, and catches perch. Ooh, Catcher of Care has a 49 and a 46. Mm, good. Really we, good. We on one? I don't know. Yeah, 46. They have a 46 still, so... But if they improve that 46, they're super dangerous as well. Yeah. 42, 46... What else do they have? They had a 42, 46, 49 before lunch. And now they added a 46 and a 49. So they have two 46s and two 49s. Okay. Super nice fish. So we uh, changed to a new spot. It's about five meters five, six meters, uh, close to harbor, less wind, because the other side was just way too much wind to fish, to fish. Uh, focused and finesse, so we moved to a spot a bit uh, sheltered from the wind. Uh, we saw some fish on the fish finder. 
Yeah, it looks like a good spot, so we give it a try. As we, we just move on because uh, we don't manage to catch here, so we look for a kind of a similar spot uh, with a little bit heavier slope and uh, see if we can uh, get at least one. And we go back. Whoo! A lot of pressure on. A lot of pressure on because we didn't have fish in this episode. So there's a lot of pressure on the. You go there. I'm gonna check that fish. Check it with the side scan. Let's see if I see something. And if that is nothing, we go a long way. Which Larry? This way down? Yeah. There are so many perch up here. It's crazy. When they bite, how much fish you can catch, right? Yeah. Zander, pike, and yeah, yeah. also with a zander now. Huh? Yeah. And then from one second to the next, boom, boom. And yeah. you can catch 20, yeah. 20 fish easily a day here. Yeah? yeah, you can catch two, three fish adrift. Yeah. yeah. But then uh, all of a sudden, yeah. boom. They out. turn off or turn over, on? Over and out. Yeah, fish, fish on. Does not feel huge, but we never know. Might be. It might be. But big one, eh? Oof. No. No. Understand? Yeah. Small Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Not an upgrade, but yeah, good. No upgrade, but hey. hey finally fish. <laughs> Maybe this is a sign that they yeah. start to bite yeah, again. Exactly. And so, it's fun. And I said, the, right on the spot, huh? Yeah, right on the spot and on the stunner, on the jerkbait. It's so, so cool. This fishing, twitch, twitch, hang time, twitch, twitch. And then during the hang time, poof, super, super strong bites. Amazing fish. Amazing fish. We don't need to measure this one, not an upgrade, but a very welcome catch, super cool. Quick release here. Go get your bigger brother, 50 plus please. <laughs> there you go. And took it on the new Berkeley Deck Stana. Stana is super cool, little twitch bait, jerk bait. Very, very slow sinking. Uh, this is the shallow version again. Also used it in uh, this morning with the, with the zender that I caught and uh, running between 1.4 and 1.89 meters. That's kind of the depth where we're fishing now, super close to the bottom. Twitch, twitch, super slow presentation, pauses of three, four seconds sometimes, and then boom, fish like that can come, super cool. Let's see if we can get another one. Zmieniłem teraz przynęte i w dwóch rzutach mam dwa brania i jakiś jest naprawdę mega pechowy dzień. Teraz piękne branie i znowu nie siedzi. Wydaje mi się, że to był właśnie okoń teraz. Jest? Fish on? Uh, no, no perch. What? No perch. Yeah, 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 but we never know, eh? I would be ready just in case. Spad. Was it a pike? Uh, Zander. Zander, okay. To nie był okoń, e, najprawdopodobniej sandacz i to nieduży, ale sam fakt, że kolejna ryba spada jest niefajny. Naprawdę dzisiaj mnóstwo stresu. E, wiadomo, była nadzieja, że to jest okoń, ale w ogóle nie pracowała ta ryba jak okoń. E, do zbrojka, hak i ryba spada. Sure, Zander. Zander, Zander. 
Oh, we have to change batteries. The wind took all the, uh, the, the batteries for the electric engines. So I still have a full start uh, battery. So now I change the start battery for the electric engine. Hopefully we manage to make a full day fishing, changing these batteries. Otherwise fishing will be finished shortly, I'm afraid. We're pretty lucky that we caught the four fish already, otherwise <laughs> it should be so stressful. But now it's uh, okay. Uh, these fuckers are so heavy. At least the motor is running right now, so now we will connect that battery to the trolling motor. The trolling motor will work and we connect uh, the outboard to this uh, battery, which is empty, but it will charge because it charges when, when it runs. And now it should work. The battery says green. But now nothing works anymore. Now the electronics don't even work. There's always birds here in this area. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, birds, big birds, big birds. Big birds, big fish, big fish, big upgrader. Net it right, eh? From first time, eh? Yes, yes, yes. This is a big one. This Swallowed is a big it. one. Swallowed this. it. Ooh. Woo! Oh, big one. 50, Good. 50 plus, 50 plus. Yes, this is 50 plus. This is a big upgrader. Big upgrader. This one goes 50, 50 centimeter. Believe me. On the bus bite again. Oh, what a bite. Look at this fish, how big it is. Look at this, guys. Man, oh man, what a beauty. I thought it was 50, but I think it's shorter but because he's so high. It's such do a big ma, belly. Do me even a right hand, as you like. The line, just the line. Hauen. Oh, how big is it? How big is it? It's, just, it's a short one. It's, it's short. 45, it's 45. So high. Wait, wait a second. 45. Uh, 45. Very nice birds. Very high. I really thought it was 50 centimeter, but uh, it, it's because it's so high and, and so big. It's 45, and now we let it go. Happy, happy. We needed this one so hardly. <sighs> Four centimeter upgrade. I thought it was bigger, but okay, it's 45 centimeter. And uh, again on my bus bite, uh, fire birds. Uh, hopefully we can catch a few more because I see the other guys catching uh, bigger ones. But it's so uh, difficult to catch big ones. I, I, this was a big one, but yeah, we are happy with every uh, good bird. 45 or 49, it's so, you cannot choose. You have to uh, take what you get. But uh, again with my bus bite, let's go for another one. This one went for it, uh, Dimar. Yeah. This one took it completely. Absolutely. Like, like the first one. We, like, we like caught the first today. one. Yep. Both first fish on both episode days hammered it. <laughs> they hammered it. Uh, this morning I had a lot of stress. But now I'm fine. Uh, I had a good bite again, and uh, we have a first uh, good fish in this episode. Maybe I believe there will, will be more fish here. So yeah. And we have still a lot of time. Still a lot of time. There's still a long time left to make a difference yet, but the weather conditions are not the best. The team who can figure out their tactics and the weather will have a huge advantage and have a great chance of winning today. Now we are scanning the area. We have problems with the wind and it pushes in the murky water. And Perch uh, loves to hunt on like clear water. And now we're looking for the clear water spots in combination with some plants and in depths between 1.5 and 2 meters and we are closing in now to a spot like this oh yeah here's a nice fish they're like right on the shelf 
there's like uh, right on the shelf of the drop, there's nice fish. Whoa, it came by the boat! Oh, tank again! Uh, it came right here! Right fucking here! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, that's not great! Hey! Could be! I uh, could be! <laughs> <laughs> I was finishing my cast for a new one and I already free spooled the reel and was gonna lift and, and cast. Then I saw a fish coming after and so it was a perch, so I just. <laughs> And there it is. It's nice. Jerk bait. It rocks. <laughs> yeah, it's for sure an upgrade. It's better, bigger than 46, or not? Yeah, I think I think it is. Oh. It is. 47. 48. 48. 48. Yeah. Oh, baby! <laughs> nice fish on the left. Big one on the left. Oh, man. So we're looking for the, the shallow steps just before the drops. Uh, I'm fishing it with Bold, the Strike Pro jerk bait. And it's, uh, it's claiming some uh, nice fish. We just upgraded two centimeters. And I think that will place us in... Uh, second place. In second place. Yeah, uh, shared. Yeah, but uh, shared second. It's awesome. We, uh, we did a few drifts and we got two bite. And also like in the training, we have found a few mussels on the bottom, like a little hill with some mussels on and some weed around. So uh, we will put now a few anchor points right on top of these uh, mussels and fish very slow with the sea rig and cross and uh, yeah, just to see if we can catch some perch because we know they're here not biting yet but uh, must start uh, stop uh, start every uh, second any second so let's go huh? yeah if you touch a weed Sometimes it's so scary. <laughs> yeah. uh, this stretch is extremely hot. Yeah, and with the wind we cast like crazy far and the water is muddy so we can... So cool structure in here. <coughs> there we go. There we go. Fish on. Big one. On the anchor spot, man. It's perch. I think not an upgrade, but ah, still. Nice one. But on the rocks. Nice one. <laughs> but it's so cool, the plan works, huh? Yeah. It's not an upgrade. I think this is the smallest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, beautiful perch. <laughs> but they start to get active now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we get some activity now. Yeah. It's a very yellow one, this one. Huh? Yeah. The colors, super cool. So quite big muscles. As we said before, we found some hills with some muscles and uh, I could feel them in the ro in the rod and uh, yeah right on top of the muscles these little perch guy maybe a 41 42 quickly back in the water quite yellowish continuamos amigos good job good job fina bore fina bore fina bore <laughs> bravo fiske <laughs> Fish. Yeah. Bike? Yeah, it's a bike. Yeah. Shit or rip shit? Deep. <laughs> it feel, always feels good. The bite is good. Nice pikey. Wonderful fish. Oh, you feel how cold the water is, huh? Mm hmm. Great lure. Also for birds. Yeah. Wydaje mi się, że już tu nie złowimy czterego koni. Mamy problem teraz z wiatrem, żeby się dostać do następnego spotu. CWC tu przyjechało. 
e, poprawiło sobie wynik na 49, opali dwa okonie 49, 47. My dzisiaj po prostu idealnie się mijamy z miejscówkami i teraz mamy problem e, co zrobić, bo jest bardzo duża fala, jest mocny wiatr, e, mamy do następnego spotu jakieś 5-6 km, a tutaj tylko są duże okonie i to bardzo, bardzo pojedyncze i cztery w tak krótkim czasie już y, możemy mieć problem złowić. Tym bardziej, że dzisiaj w ogóle nam nie idzie, jest katastrofa. Jest dzień po prostu bardzo kiepski. E... A jakie są opcje? Opcje są e, no, takie, że już teraz tu zostajemy, ale ja bym poszedł w stronę ryzyka, czyli jeszcze poleciał na ten spot, gdzie mamy tam dwie miejscówki, takie spady na troszkę na głębszą wodę i są tam, nie są tam takie ogromne okonie po 50 cm, ale są takie 46, 47. Nam już zależy teraz tak naprawdę, żeby cokolwiek złowić, bo mamy bardzo kiepski wynik. No jesteśmy na ostatnim miejscu. Uh, last time we look at the scoreboard for today. Let us see. Uh, Abu Abu Pastas did an upgrade of three centimeters. Yeah, we're second place. Too bad. We should catch like a 50 centimeter perch. No, we're equal with catching care. Catch with care. Yeah, well done, but we saved some spots for the last uh, for the last part of the day. Hopefully the batteries will keep running and hopefully we can catch some, some perch. Yeah, finesse fishing seems to be the deal for perch fishing today. We tried some twitch baiting. It, uh, Arendkout just got a, a nice spike on it. But this, they seem to be really picky and really hard to catch so we will try to to go to our first spots and do some finesse fishing for for the rest of the day uh, yeah looking from spot to spot to spot and uh, it's just finding the, the one where uh, perch is and that's the that's big all. perch are this is most important so uh, it's not so easy to find them but uh, okay We will do our best. We will do our best, our very best. Like crazy structures here around, like super spot, eh? Yeah, super spot. Yeah. There's more to come. Yeah. yeah but not big enough. We yeah, it's catch weird. like but yesterday, 49 here. Yeah. It would help, eh? 49? Yeah, 49 would help. Would help. I love I love it. The, the best thing about that fish was kind of like we were drifting like around on these like bigger spots. And as soon as we put an anchor to really fish accurate, we caught the fish. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. So you really see accuracy is more important than covering like tons of water. If you know the fish are there, yeah. you have to be super, super yeah. precise with the lure and the presentation. Let's see if we can get another perch here. Yeah, should be able to get one. Yeah. Oh, bite. Bite? 100,000%. 100, 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, yeah? Yeah. Far cast. They are all over around here. Yeah. It feels right what we do now. Yes. Insisting on the hot spots. There's one. Fish. Big one. Big perch. Ah, I think it's sure. a big perch. Yeah, it's feels, big perch. Feels like it's like upgrade a, perch. Feels like a good one. First cast with the different color. Crazy, huh? Instead of a V-tail, I took the Berkeley Sick Vibe with the little pedal perch. It's a perch, no? Yes, it's a perch. Good First job. cast in the same direction where I missed the bite. Maybe not an upgrade, but it feels heavy. The, the transducer, the transducer. It feels heavy. Is it a perch? Hope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a freaking monster. <laughs> Is it an upgrade, you think? I'm gonna check it. <laughs> <laughs> but still, 48, I would say. It's the same size. Hey. Perch fishing is so much fun, it's man. So much fun, man. <laughs> so much fun. Look at that, man. <laughs> Jesus. On the anchor point, I yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah. Might not be an upgrade, but he's long. 
Pretty cool. Let's measure it. So we measured it quickly. 47. Super nice perch. But uh, useless for the scoreboard. Anyway, a pleasure to catch and to release. Bye bye. And now we need a 50 plus because <laughs> for the for the scoreboard this is useless. <laughs> if a perch like this is useless for the scoreboard, then you know what kind of tournament it is, huh? <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> what a small one. <laughs> And was that bite that you had? Yeah, yeah, probably. Or there's another one. Or there's another one. Let's catch that one then. It's full of stones here, man. It's full of stones. We are right on it. It's good, huh? Yeah, it's good. Good it works. It works. Yeah, they feed on it. Yeah, 47, super perch. I want to catch that all day long. But for today, with our current list of perch, you want this fish to be like a couple of centimeters extra. We're really chasing the, uh, the upgrade of the 48, so we need at least a 49 again. Preferably a 50 or a 51, of course. To be really dangerous for the other teams. But uh, yeah, if those fish don't count, and you have a, quite a strong card, I would say. And a super fun day fishing. I mean, so many big perch already. Super cool bites on various techniques. I mean, uh, hard bait, soft bait, Carolina rig, everything works. So that's, that's really cool. Ja, uh, 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 uh. fuck, jag blöt, nej! Åh, oh, fuck! Det var som... Man! Så vi är på den platsen igen. Jag tror att... Vad är det med mig? Och vad är det med dig? Så med en liten bit av luck... Ja! Det är så sandigt. Sandigt. Oh, off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was what? This was. What? I but listen, first cast fish. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. This could be a big one. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. The Nets boy is here. <laughs> it's too heavy to be a perch, I think. It's so fucking heavy. It's perch, it's perch. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, this. This is a big one. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm here. Three, with... two, one. Oi, 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 oi. Yes! This is a 50! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a fucking balloon! <laughs> Jesus, man! Hey, and it's off. Yeah. This is a monster! Oi, 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 what a fish! I thought it's, this is too big! It's, yeah, too, it's, 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 it's too big! <laughs> <laughs> it's too heavy. Uh, it's too heavy. It has to be like a. Uh, I saw a him coming. <laughs> yeah. uh, this was like teamwork netting because it was hitting the net, puff off. Oh. It's bigger than the 49s. Way bigger. <laughs> what a cannonball. <laughs> hold it. Hold. Lift it in first. Yes. That's smart. Oh, what a tank! Oh, <laughs> look, a, look at the belly! It's like a two point. It could be 2.5, this guy. Let it be a 50. Come on, moments of truth. This can even be over 50. Yeah, 51. 51. The fucking one! Yeah! <laughs> 51. Wait. Yeah, yeah, touching here. Yeah. 51. Yeah, yeah 51. Touch, touch. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 51. Shut <Charlotte>. up! <laughs> oh, what a tank. 51. 
No, it's not the perch, it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we did so much uh, effort in, in finding the structures. And the right spots. And, and, and the clear water, just outside the murky water. And the reward is here. Adam, I'm, I'm only here for the netting, but... But Adam, I'm, I'm very <laughs> grateful for that. It's a 51 centimeter fish, yeah. and it weighed in on 2.6 kilos. This, dear it, viewers, it, this is a... This is what perch fishing is all about. This is the European Fishing League, and this is a jerkbait monster. And we caught it on the Stripe Pro Bolt, 51 centimeters. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? It was my pleasure to net all your fish. <laughs> <laughs> but since this was teamwork... Well done. As a team, we did great. Yeah. Last cast, my friend. Yeah, we can be happy. We caught a lot of fish, like 16 or something. Yeah, a lot of perch. 16, 17 fish. A lot of big perch. Uh, great average size. Super fun fishing day. Yeah, great day. We are very happy. We missed that one big perch, like, like really big perch. But yeah. I mean, you don't catch fish like this every day. So let's be honest, it was a really incredible fishing day. We we're really happy. Yeah. And uh, our plan worked. All the spots delivered fish. Totally. We had not a single spot where we didn't catch a perch. All of the spaces worked. So. And also several techniques, yeah? Slow, fast, yeah. hard bait, soft bait. Super yeah. cool. Super, Super cool day. Cool. Uh, uh, very fun. It's almost impossible. <laughs> Catching nothing when all the limits are, are with big fish, it's, it's incredible. Catastrophe. <laughs> it happens, that's, that's fishing. Krulove <laughs> catastrophe. We know it's fishing, but when it's us, it's. Uh, it's difficult. To się naprawdę rzadko zdarza. Oh. Nie uwierzyłbym w to nigdy, tym bardziej, że byliśmy w dobrych miejscach, ale tak już powiedziałem poprzednio, że tak to niekiedy bywa. Well, the day is over and it's time for the final report. It was tight until the very end and the winners fished amazingly this afternoon. The winner is Catch With Care and what a great way to end the day with the longest perch of the session. Fuck yeah, man, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> we deserve this. Yeah. Oh man, great. Yes! With only two centimeters between them, second place goes to Abu Garcia. What an absolutely fantastic result. And once again, these boys are so consistent. Wonderful. Great really job, guys. Great job. You see, you really fished well. All the other teams as well. I mean, cool day for everyone, I think. Yeah, but close call with, uh, with us, two points. Third place goes to our early leaders, Akuma. They had a great morning, but didn't quite manage to keep the lead. They can, however, be proud of today's results. They'll be hoping for similar efforts on the final day in Holland. Very good. Yeah, we're happy with that. Happy. Good, good. Afternoon could have gone better, but it is what it is. Uh, we're still happy. So what about the rest of the teams? Well, Westin managed to upgrade just one fish of 45 centimeters, but Fox Rage, well, they remained fishless and scored nothing at all. So, well, good job, good job to the to the first ones. Good job to everyone, actually, because uh, only limits with big fish. It's it's uh, super impressive. I'm in between uh, laughing and crying, <laughs> laughing because it happens. I mean we. You, we all know you can catch nothing, but when it happens, it's really hard. And, uh, and, and crying because obviously there were some, some good fish to catch and we were not able to, to get them. So last chance, street fishing, episode five and six, to, to make the best result as possible. And this is the league table at the end of day two. Abu looking good at the top of the pile. We have street fishing left to finish off here in Holland before we move to the end game in Finland. So there's a lot of points yet still to fight for. Second place in total. So uh, what we have mentioned, Toon and you, you have to make a very good day on street fishing. We gotta do our best. <laughs> Absolutely. But on second place, I'm happy with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well done, well done mate. So we are so emotional because we know there's a big perch here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. man. Good, 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 good. We are in the business. See you on the next episode. We did it. We did it today. What a fantastic round two of the European Fishing League. 
Next up, street fishing. Don't forget to tune in. We have got some of the best anglers and, of course, some of the best fish here live on your screens. See you next time.